URC, folks, is getting underway this weekend. This is the second season of the URC. I was quietly pretty chuffed with the way the first season went. It had a lot of obstacles in its way with all the COVID disruptions, travel disruptions, um, the South African teams kind of being separated from the European teams for a wee while. But it all culminated with a pretty entertaining final series, I thought. Best teams from Ireland, Wales, Scotland, Italy, South Africa. So, um, yeah, we'll go through who the favourites are for this competition. We'll talk a little bit about the broadcasters. And uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts. I've already got the um, the percentages on the board for the kind of potential likelihood. According to bookmakers, keep that in mind, uh, as to who the kind of favourites are. You can maybe guess which teams and go into which positions, but we'll go through them. And um, yeah, I should touch on broadcasters just quickly because their website is definitely out of date. The New Zealand broadcaster, I know for a fact, is 100% wrong. Uh, but I did try to do a bit of due diligence and check for you guys who the broadcasters are. I mean, going on last season, it's largely like Premier Sports, I think, in the UK for many of the games. But not all. Some of the games are free to air on like BBC, uh, TG4, that's Ireland, S4C, that's UK, and then uh, RTE, which is also Ireland. So if you have got a VPN and you're outside the UK or Ireland, um, those websites I just mentioned are awesome for not all the games, but like some of the... Uh, some of the games will be shown on there, so check out Express down in the description if you want to get yourself VPN. I reckon they're awesomely useful uh, for everything rugby because so much stuff is geo-blocked. But um, anyway, uh, apart from the free-to-air games, like I mentioned, Premier Sports, Super Sports in South Africa, um, the URC TV has a bunch of territories like uh, Australia. That's kind of their own in-house streaming service. Flow Rugby in the States. So if you guys signed up for Flow Rugby during the Rugby Championship, you can probably keep your subscription or sign up using the link down there um, because affiliate of Flow Rugby as well. So if you're in the States, the URC is all on Flow. In New Zealand, our situation kind of sucks because the South African games are on Spark Sport and then the other games are on the URC uh, local sort of bit in-house streaming service so if you want to watch all the games you have to subscribe to two different services so that stinks but i mean i guess most people just want to follow one team so you can kind of pick and choose but anyway if you guys have got any updates about the broadcasters do let us know um but yeah vpn and uh flow down the description if you guys are interested in either uh predictions wise it's kind of no surprise that uh zebra who only managed one win last season, are your least favorite team, paying $501. These are according to Paddy Power. Uh, my local bookmaker is not even doing odds for the URC just yet. So that's a bit annoying, but um, yeah, there you go. Zebra, who struggled last year, predicted to struggle again. Dragons also struggled. I needed to update their logo. I will do that at some point, folks. I'm well behind on logos. I also need to update the Exeter Chiefs logo. 0.3% uh, paying $251. So $251. $501, not uh, picked to get anywhere. And then Benetton, who were actually kind of poor last year and have recently just lost Monte Iwani, which is really disappointing. He's gone back to Australia. Um, yeah, they are the Rainbow Cup champions a couple of years ago, but paying 151 bucks, So still less than a percent for them. Uh, Cardiff and the first South African team, the Lions, are at less than a percent. So neither of these teams... Predicted to be doing much, paying $101 uh, if if they uh, if they get the job done. All these teams uh, did not make the playoffs last year. There were a few teams who did get kind of close-ish. That was the likes of Connacht, the first Irish team, uh, the Ospreys, and the Scarlets. These guys all sitting at around about 1% chance of winning the entire entire competition river scarlets was in a final not that long ago several years i guess pro 14 time ago now but couldn't make the um yeah couldn't make the playoffs pay 81 dollars these guys finished like 9th 10th i think connick were like 11th or 12th last year so these were the teams just outside the playoffs all these teams not given a whole heck of a lot of chance of doing anything in the competition in terms of actually making it um in terms of like winning the trophy but um there you go that's kind of to be expected uh the other side of the board we've got the two scottish teams on just over a percent glasgow and edinburgh 1.7 percent so paying 51 bucks these guys finished like seventh and eighth in last season's table they kind of benefit a wee bit from having at least last season two weak italian teams in their kind of conference their do they call it conferences groups their shield 
Um, so yeah, they play, play the Italian teams more than the other teams in the competition. So yeah, there's a little bit of a leg up there for um, for them to uh, at least make the playoffs. But neither team was able to impose themselves in terms of the overall playoff race. Interestingly, the Bulls at 6.4% are um, ranked lower than the other two South African teams, the Sharks and the Stormers, paying $13. Remember, they finished fourth last year, which is pretty good. They had a pretty decent comeback. And in terms of Springboks, I think they've only got two in the current squad, so they shouldn't be as affected by like the rugby championship and uh, whatnot still going on. You know, like the Sharks and the Stormers are missing a lot more players. So that's an interesting one. The Bulls are maybe a wee sneaky bet there at 13 bucks. Uh, Ulster coming in at 7.5%. Remember, they finished third on the log last year. They actually, yeah, if things had gone slightly different for them in a few games, they could have finished even higher. Um, paying 11 bucks, so 7.5%, not quite into double digits, but then no team gets into double digits barring one. So, yeah, Ulster maybe, I don't know. I don't want to say disappointing last year, but I feel like they, last year was an opportunity to go one step further, and um, it didn't happen for them anyway. 8.3%, uh, we have got the reigning champion Stormers and the Sharks. Both of these teams... Uh, as I said, a few Springbok guys, so we'll be a little bit of a disadvantage at the start of the season. Um, but both got some really good players playing 10 bucks. The top two ranked South African teams, which means the final top two teams are indeed Irish. Munster with their new coach, Graham Roundtree, 9.2%, paying uh, 9 bucks. Another one who could use, I guess, a little bit of a. Uh, I don't know, it'd be nice to see them in a final. Wouldn't it? But um, yeah, not quite been there, at least under Van Graan. And then uh, Leinster, who couldn't get it done last year, broke their run of goodness knows how many Pro 14 titles that they had in a row, uh, paying $1.62. So 51.2%. Leinster are, uh, yeah, taking everyone else's numbers put together, and they've still got more. They did finish top of the log last season, remember? They. Um, they went out in the knockout stages. They had 13 wins. They tend to rotate their team, but they got a lot of depth. But, uh, yeah, they were upset by a South African team last year in the knockout stages. So there you go, folks. Those are, those are your URC odds, according to Paddy Power, basically, and we've converted them into percentages out of a hundy. So there you go. What do you guys reckon? Are Leinster more than half favorites? Do you back them to kind of bounce back? Or do you think a team like... I don't know, Munster can step up, Ulster can step up, one of these three top South African teams can uh, do what they did last year like the Stormers did. Is there a potential dark horse outside South Africa and Ireland? Like the Welsh teams were a bit disappointing last year. Any of them like to bounce back? The Scottish teams, if they can go on a wee run? You guys let me know your thoughts. Looking forward to it. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.